So it's day three, day three of working on my house and Jason's not here today. He's at a dance competition. What the heck? Dance competition? I mean, you guys have seen this dance move, right? I'm just kidding. It's his daughter's dance competition. He's uh, with the fam going to watch her, cheer her on. And uh, this project's gotta keep going. So instead of having him help me today, I'm gonna have my wife help me. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me start off with this. We are not going to get to fixing the bounce in the floor today. Reason being, one, I'm still kind of thinking about what it is I really wanna do because the problem is that I'd rather sister these joists by adding another joist next to them. But as you can see, I have some wires going through a couple of them. And I don't really want to do the beam thing because I have piping in the way. So, you know, I haven't quite made up my mind just yet what I want to do, but that's fine. I don't have to make a decision about it right now. I know a lot of you guys and gals were concerned that all of this was just going to come tumbling down. I'm not worried about any of these walls down here being load bearing because they shouldn't be. But before I do any tile upstairs, I really need to get that bounce figured out. Now, it's not a huge bounce. I'm sure we made it seem a whole lot worse than what it really was. And if I can do something about it, I'm gonna do something about it. We're not gonna worry about that today. So we got a few more things upstairs, like the things we didn't take care of last week, we can get that done today. And I wanna give a huge shout out to those of you who have left comments on our videos, giving us some pretty great ideas about how we should use this space. So thank you guys so much. I tried to get around to replying to as many comments as I could. Some of you guys have emailed me, sent us messages on Facebook and Instagram. I just really, really appreciate you guys giving us your ideas. And with that said, it's definitely been an interesting experience remodeling your home for all the world to see. Becca, somebody left another comment on YouTube about where we should put the kitchen. Hey Becca, I need to show you these plants somebody sent me on Facebook. I think they drew them on a napkin, but they're pretty cool. Check them out. Oh wait, you're not Becca. Hey Becca, somebody just commented that we should probably just tear this whole place down and start over. Yeah, like they were saying, maybe have the Perkins build it? I don't know. If the Perkins built it, they would steal all of our YouTube content and then make this into their series. No, we can't have that. Hey, back up! I was just reading the YouTube comments again. Yeah, I know, but look, just listen. This is a good idea. This is a good idea, I promise. Hey, back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! This is the last one, I promise, I promise. In all seriousness though, thank you guys so much. You guys have been great and very supportive of this project. So uh, we hope to have some final plans viewable for you guys in the next week or by the next episode, whichever comes first. So let's get to what me and Becca actually got accomplished. While I was just filming that last little clip, I just realized that it looks like my hot water tank is linking. Add it to the list. So we're going to tear out this floor, tear out this panel and see what is behind this window. And we're just gonna fix this annoying thing. And we're going to cut down this wall so that it is even with the fridge and not even with the handle of the refrigerator door. We're also gonna come over here and rip out part of this wall. So this is the wall that is behind the staircase. The staircase is here and we want to just kind of open it up a little bit more by tearing out this wall okay so the first thing we're going to do is probably the thing that i'm more worried about and that is seeing what is going on behind the paneling on this exterior wall so we're going to rip the trim off the window and see what we got going on you got your gloves on nope i don't have gloves I mean, you saw what happened to Jason last week, right? He got a splinter. I did. Sure you want to hurt those things? I'll be okay. Okay. Okay, so good news. Uh, one, the house is insulated. 
That's always nice to know. Two, they did insulate around the windows, but they just kind of stuffed some fiberglass insulation in there. So that's okay, but I'm probably gonna still rip that out and put foam insulation. As you can see, I'm having a tough time uh, getting the paneling out of the bottom because the flooring is butting into the paneling. It's not giving it any room to, to really give so that I can get it off of there. We're gonna go ahead and move on to ripping out some of these floors. You ready? Yeah. I think so. Okay, but we gotta be careful because I kinda wanna see if we can reuse these floors. So, so I have to pull up floors for the first time and not ruin them? Yep, easy peasy. It's not just me who wants to save and reuse material, it runs in the family. See, Coda, she's found this stuff, I don't know where, but she's brought us that pipe. She brought us this pipe, don't know where she got that. She also brought us this pipe. Yep. I'm not sure where she's finding all this stuff, but she brings them to our back porch. It's always something new. I'm basically a pro at this now. I mean, I've been ripping up these floors for 20 minutes now. But let me show you the trick. The trick to ripping up floors without damaging them is this. You start on the outside. Real good, babe. <laughs> yeah, it was really, it was working before, but <laughs> it didn't that time. Yeah, well, you got a whole basket full of good ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I know I'm probably not being the most gentle with some of this flooring, but you know what? Just imagine if Jason was here. I'm sweating. Are you I sweating? Yes. I don't see any. I'm not sweating. <laughs> You're uh, ripping all the nails out of these, right? Uh, no. Am I supposed to be? Uh, uh don't worry about it. You're too pretty for that. So, like, this is what the floor is gonna look like? Well, I mean, just for a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna, like, fix it this weekend? Uh, no. Not even close. We're gonna put, like, towel in here. Okay. I, I can live with that. At least somebody's having a good time. Okay, phase two of today's project. Well, we're gonna rip part of this wall all the way up to the staircase. I like how you keep using we, like I'm actually really contributing. <laughs> yeah, you're just here for moral support. Yeah. The reason we're ripping this out is because, I mean, obviously we've opened up this area quite a bit just by ripping down the walls over there. What we want is a big open area. We're hoping that by ripping out just this kind of entrance section here into this room, we'll actually open up some more space. We need some walls. So another thing that I really didn't go over with you guys that I should have told you in the first video is that I actually have engineered trusses in my roof. So the beauty of all of that is that I can move any wall that I want to. That's all great because when it comes to the actual moving of stuff in this house, um, I've got total freedom. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna let you do. Do I get to use a power tool? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna let you take this door off. So I'll just, I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay. Look, I did it. You good? I'm so good. Okay. Good job. She's a little concerned about what's happening. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. It's for your betterment. Okay, and the final thing that we're gonna do today is removing this wall so that this doesn't keep happening. Okay, so we do have a switch right here in this wall, but I've got this handy dandy little tester that doesn't seem to work. Why isn't that working? <laughs> Dude, it works everywhere else. It's Why is it every time I go to record myself, nothing ever works? <laughs> so apparently I just needed to take the cover off, so.
crazy, huh? I can get into the whole fridge. <laughs> it's amazing. It's all for you. Thanks, babe. We got all the walls knocked out, which is great. We love the open space, right? Oh, love it. And just so that you guys know, there are plans to knock this wall out, but we can't do it yet until we actually do something uh, to kind of seal off the basement area. This is gonna be up here for a while, but <laughs> we're excited. S nervously excited. <laughs> Coda is super excited. Check that out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just stay tuned because uh, hopefully in the next few days we'll have some plans published somewhere so that you guys can actually follow along with where we're at and what we're going to do next. Thank you again to all you guys who actually sent us comments and plans. It's, it's been great.